Hi, I'm Rita Galati. I'm an associate at the Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I grew up in upstate New York. I grew up in a really rural town, uh, very tiny. I was nestled in the Adirondack Mountains, so there I loved to ski and I loved to hike. And also on the shores of Lake Champlain, I grew up on a little cottage, so we swam, we windsurfed, we, we just hung out all summer long on the lake. My, uh, my parents started out in uh, Pittsburgh and my brother was born there, so he always had a love of the team. And likewise, we watched the Steelers, Terry Bradshaw growing up, and, and they've really always been my favorites. Favorite movie? Well, I'm actually not a huge movie buff, but I have seen a lot and slept through a lot of movies. Uh, my husband and my kids are all movie buffs, so I, I do go to the movies a lot, but uh, it has to be a really good one to catch my attention. I loved Moneyball. I found that uh, Brad Pitt was really true to himself, and I thought that made it really special. Well, I, uh, I graduated as the valedictorian of Plattsburgh Senior High School. I then earned a really coveted position with an accelerated uh, bachelor MD program so that I finished in six years rather than the typical eight. After that, I decided to go into obstetrics and gynecology, which was a shoe in I always loved babies since I was little, and I loved human reproduction, so I went to Emory. Um, after that, I went to the University of Connecticut and finished my fellowship, and at that point, I decided really the timing was right then to, to you know, continue with reproductive endocrinology. I think initially I really loved the field of obstetrics and gynecology and you know just the thought of really understanding a woman's body um, and then you know obstetrics is just a, such a fun field you're happy you're dealing with so many you know healthy people um, and then after that reproductive endocrinology seemed to have the real challenges new things were happening it wasn't a static field and that really made it exciting both of my parents have inspired me but my father was really the the true inspiration um, living with him 365 days of the year, 24-7. He went to the hospital, was always on call. Um, even into his 70s, he'd get calls in the middle of the night. He'd wake up with a smile, go to the hospital. He truly loved his work, and he really showed me that hard work and dedication do pay off. You know, I am a wife and a mother, and I think, you know, family really defines who I am. Uh, my parents were the most wonderful people, and I really knew that family was important. But it wasn't until I had my own children that I really saw how precious children and, and family really is. And I think because of that, I'm really eager to help other people to have a family the way that I have one. If I really had to describe myself, I'd say that I'm very patient, I'm kind, I'm earnest in what I do, and I'm hardworking and dedicated to my field. I think most patients really want to know is, is, is this going to be successful and is it going to work and can you tell me it's going to work? And you know, I, I basically think that I can tell everybody, yes, it'll work. It may not be the way that we have it imagined, but I think if you try, we will get to some, some point, you know, positive in some way. I think I've really seen how different people have to be treated differently. My father's from India. My mom's from Germany, my husband's from South Korea. Everybody's different. Not everybody fits into one mold. And so I think you really have to take each couple independently and you have to look at each member of the couple and then a couple is, is a team and, and really figure out what you know, makes sense for them and where they feel comfortable. Well, I think if you look at our statistics over a period of time, we're clearly at the top of the statistics. And furthermore, you know, statistics are important, but also I think we treat our patients well, and we don't fit our patients into a cookie cutter mold. Different patients need different things, and different patients need different paths, and I think we're here to, to help everybody. To become, you know, successful, you have to start, and you have to take that first step. Usually the first step is the hardest, but once you take it, things after that go on you know, much easier. And I truly believe after 12 years that RMA is a special place and magical things happen here each and every day.